the viral sensation that is Mr. Aaron Wallace is your third man in the cage. Tomas opening up quick right from the get-go. Must be said, Buckley is making his return, or sorry, Paul Stewart is making his return to the cage after a long hiatus. Hasn't fought since December of 2018. At 38 years old, he is one of the more elder statesmen of Irish mixed martial arts. But right now, he is the one leading the dance. Describes himself as having that wrestler-boxer style, so this is exactly where he wants the fight to take place. Trying to dig it in for those underhooks. Again, we are back in the realm of full unified mixed martial arts here in the amateur lightweight division. Therefore, punches to the head are legal on the feet and on the ground. No knees to the head and no elbows. Stewart working hard to get this fight to the ground. He's a blue belt in BJJ, so relatively comfortable, you would imagine, in the grappling exchanges. Although Zwill has turned him around now and is working for a single of his own. Shots up top. Rag dulls his way to the ground. Now inside the half guard. Trying to isolate an arm. Maybe trying to work for a, a quasi crucifix position. But big shots being landed by Thomas here. He's using that cross face to great effect there. So he could land with some extra impact. And he's framing off the shoulder beautifully here. Just diving or digging that forearm into the face of Stewart to create a little bit of separation. But right now, Stuart needs to get onto that hip and try and work Stuart his way inside. Stuart has found an underhook and it's going to help him get out of here if he knows how to do it. He's, he's working his way out that back door, back to his knees. So Tomas trying to get in on that neck though, could be looking for a mounted guillotine. He does look like he's underneath the chin if he can connect the hands. He is. Paul doing the right thing by trying to work for a single leg, but again, Tomas is dogged with that neck. Using it now more so as a means of control than as an actual submission. But Stuart doing a good job to try and parlay that position into a takedown of his own. But he needs to be careful with that neck, Paul. That head is very, very low. What he wants to do here is he wants to look up to the sky, drive his, the crown of his head up, and get better posture in this position. And get his hips in a little closer underneath the will to center of gravity to try and elevate him. But it's will and not giving him the option. And some cheeky shots from underneath him. Heavy knees to the thigh there from Stewart. It must be said that in his only fight in mixed martial arts, Stewart did lose by guillotine choke. So hopefully that's something that he's more reticent of now. That's something he'll acknowledge, that dangerous position. It's always the risk when you run the takedown attempt with the head on the outside here. It's very important to have your head in the correct place. You don't want to be too low. You don't want to make it easy for your opponent to get a grasp of the neck in this position as we see Zawilla is well capable of doing. Is it possible and experience in the point of Zawilla not to recognise that the guillotine is there for him? Yeah, he looked like he was slightly taking a break in that position. Mm. Referee Aaron Wallace clears the cage for round two. And Phil, we spoke just there about possible inexperience. It is Zawilla's amateur debut. Yep. And again, there's things that you can do in the gym at nauseam, but when it comes to the bright lights of a big show like Cage Legacy, Oh, big shot up the top, big head kick by Tomas. Fully expect to see Stuart change level and get in for the takedown if he's suffering with this kind of punishment. So Willa feels confident now in that power. He's landed a couple of big shots and he knows that he's, he's had some impact. And interestingly though, it's so Willa who gets the takedown. Yeah, that seemed to be one that was more of circumstance than it was by design. Yeah, it was there, so he, he took it. He used his opponent's momentum and just reversed him and... But sent us back to the floor. But right now, you can see Stuart doing everything he can to try and change that into a takedown. But Zorilla happy in that anchor position, that half guard position. And it's a prime position from which to land your strikes if you can posture up. And right now, he's landing strike after strike. Referee Arm Wallace taking a long, hard look at this. Stuart needs to advance his position. And that's it all over Zorilla in his amateur mixed martial arts debut gets the win by second round TKO.